I genuflect in front of soft altars supporting the innocence and optimism of those Brooklyn days, somehow turning with the turning of the years into the hard, cold control of corporate monopoly, and our only rebellion is a memory of Bronx cheers spouted into the summertime fidelity for the American sport of baseball. I genuflect in front of the time when trolley cars rattled down roads in Brooklyn and the hometown team was called the Trolley Dodgers. I genuflect in front of the red car shuttled along a network of LA inner city streets taking on to where we could still be enamored by the ecstatic round trippers of Steve Bilko. I genuflect in front of Pacific Electric Rose being paved over to pave the way for Major League Baseball to go west because streetcar transit was cutting into General Motors and Goodyear tires and standard oil annuities. So they ripped the rails out of Los Angeles the same way they ripped the trolley car tracks out of Brooklyn, the same way they ripped the struts supporting that wooden cathedral ballpark. And there are those who still pray to the ghosts of Ebbets Field. I genuflect in front of the memory of a choir loft grandstand where the hullabaloo bell of the bleachers, Hilda Chester, would reside. Her cowbell constantly clanging in Van Gogh's other ear. I genuflect in front of the sacristy of the bullpen progeny of Preacher Row, Carl Erskine, Clem Labine, Larry Sherry, Tommy John, Johnny Padres, Koufax, Drysdale, Hershiser, Ron Paranoski, Don Newcomb, even the fated Ralph Branca. I genuflect in front of the continuity of iconic follow-through swings by Dixie Walker, Frenchy Beaujere, Ferrillo, Snyder, Campanella, Johnny Roseboro, Gene Hermansky, Pete Reeser, Pee Wee Reese, George Shotgun Shuba, Lou Johnson, Kirk Gibson, Gil Hodges, and Wally Moon. I genuflect in front of the 1955 World Series Jackie Robinson robbing home plate, signifying yet another reminder that Branch Rickey broke up the double plays of intolerant repression. I genuflect in front of the aggressive wrecking ball that battered into Chavez Ravine while we witnessed through smog eyes the construction of Dodger Stadium like a bullring corrida against the old days, against the gold days, the civil wars between expendable Chicanos and real estate profiteering exactly the same way endless political controversy batters apart what's left of our disabled democracy. I genuflect in front of Walter O'Malley's life raft floating farther and farther away from the sinking boat of Bum's Paradise and shipwrecking on the jagged reefs of expansion team conspiracy. I genuflect in front of this pastoral game played in the middle of a malaise of urban congestion. The Bum Saints of Flatbush arrive in LA to be compromised by Ivy League nerds with their trades, their trade-offs, free agentry, and organized disloyalties. I genuflect in front of these murderous intrusions into a circumference of terrorized nations that revere declarations of patriotic revenge, that no matter where your political loyalties lie, since the Dodgers moved to LA, there's been a lot of rough stuff going on. Not that our existing executive wing of the government hasn't been any more morally responsible than any other during the last 50 years. I mean, think about it for a minute. I genuflect in front of the time when Dwight David Eisenhower, leaving his term as president, issued a warning to beware of the industrial military corporate complex, and nobody listened opening the door to the Kennedy Johnson architects of the Vietnam War for profit machine, and now the US government and American military have the war they always wanted, the war that will have no end. I genuflect in front of the knowledge that Shakespeare would have never hung up his spikes if he knew how much we needed a redeeming rhymed couplet. If Willie the Shake could lather up his glove and come back to write a final play to turn us away from our terrors, I'm sure he would set it in Flatbush and it would probably be called a tragedy of errors. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you.